It's KC, the Red Pill Alpha. Y'all know what it is. Wrists, elbows, knees, everything on the back of her motherfucking neck, holding her down literally with this game. We knocks the door open with this shit. Go Chiefs. Even though we down, I think we're going to come back. <laughs> Please like, hit that thumbs up button, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So whenever these videos come out, you guys will get it fresh off the hot ass presser. You got it piping hot straight down your motherfucking phone. <laughs> get at me if you got any comments. RealReal81 at Yahoo.com. That's R-E-L-L. R-E-L-L. -L, 81 at Yahoo.com. Let's touch bases with this shit. Players. I want you fellas to know this. Once it's over with with the women, they'll settle for any man. Let's talk about it. Let's jump down their throat with this shit. Fuck them. I've recently been in a situation to where I didn't want to make this certain individual, this certain female. I don't want to speak her name. She could be watching. I don't know. But um, I ain't giving no motherfucking air time. Fuck a bitch. But um, she was trying her best to wheel me in with the relationship, she's a single mother, four children, two baby fathers. I can remember. This is a few years back. Two baby fathers. She did everything. She did everything up under the sun sexually for me. Anything I want. If I was into the kinky shit, I can get that. Anything I wanted. She done for me in the most, most, most fantastic way just to please me. She wanted a relationship. She wanted me to um, eventually build with her, create a family of our own. Even though she had four kids, two baby fathers, that didn't mean nothing. She wanted to get married. It's a lot of things that this woman wanted. The time we spent was awesome. The sex was great. The communication was on point. I just wouldn't fold for her. And why? It's because, for one, I don't believe in marriage. Not at all. I don't believe in um building with a chick. I believe in building by myself. Bitch, what the fuck can you bring to the table unless it's beneficial for me, then you can stay the fuck on. Bend over and then you you know what you're you're here for. That's it. If it's not beneficial for me, if I don't see no, if I don't see no means to it that's gonna help me grow and succeed, I don't need you. I'm all right. We can keep it cordial. We can keep the relationship that we do got great. We can um always be um intimate. <laughs> that right there. I'm not getting rid of. I don't I don't just um disavow like that. I let them jump back from me, which they are gonna do anyway, because I'm not giving them what they want. So let's get back to the chick. I basically didn't give her what she wanted. I'm good. That ain't how I'm moving. I look at it like this. Just say if I was that person that wanted to settle down. I'm not going to settle down with no woman my age or my or older than me. Fuck no. I'm going to settle down with a woman much younger than me. A woman that don't have that many responsibilities. She don't have no children. She's not bringing that baggage to the table. If I'm going to settle down, I'm going to go that route. Why? Because I am a man, a man of resources. So I can provide for me. I can provide for her. I can provide for my lifestyle. I can, I can provide for her lifestyle. But I'm not going to provide for no other man's seed. I'm not going to provide with what he put down and what he struck up in you and what y'all have brought out. I'm not, I ain't fucking with that. Y'all have brought out this baby. I'm not providing for that shit. That's not my shit. I'm a man. Men are territorial. We want our own. We want to build from scratch with our own. I'm not going to allow another man DNA come in my motherfucking household and think that it's going to dictate and rule what I got going on. For one, no. I'm not that type of man. 
If it's not mine, it's not mine. I don't run around doing what a lot of you fellas do. Oh, shit, I got four kids. You know what I'm saying? When only one of them is biologically yours. The other three is your, 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 your girlfriend's. It's her children. Her baby daddy ain't giving a fuck about them, so you stepped up and you taking the plate. You missed super beta. That's who the fuck you are. I'm not that type of person. Got me fucked up. I wasn't with you when y'all had them children. I didn't know you before you when you had them children. And if I did know you when you had them children, they are not mine. Now, let's get back to the what we was talking about. Once she seen that um, I didn't want to make things official, I wanted to keep it where it was, she kind of came crawling back from me. And that was cool. That's okay because I expect that. That's what women do when you're not giving them what they want. They're going to go and seek that beta male. For that, for that comfort, for that provider, for that support. They're going to go seek him for that. But they still going to be fucking with they alpha on the motherfucking side. They still going to have them alpha on the side. You best believe that. They're not going to just be loyal to this beta. Fuck no. He's the support system. They naturally don't like nice guys. They'll tell you that. Just so they can get you in the position to where they want you at. Spending that motherfucking money. Spending all your motherfucking time. Providing for her children that ain't yours. Providing for the mortgage and the car payments and everything that's going on in her life that's 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 beneficial to her and ain't got shit to do with you. She wants that in position. She's going to always scream she wants that, but that's not the overall. That don't complete her. What completes her is that other man on the side knocking her motherfucking back out and he's running off into the dark. And it's very suspicious. It's a mystery to her. She don't know what he's doing. She don't know who he got. She don't know what's going on with it, so she keep finding herself chasing. That's what they want. I know that, so I'm going to play my position. I'm going to be that man, that mysterious man, because that's who I am. Once she's seen that, with me being that mysterious man, not giving her what she wanted, she fell back, and that's cool. I fell back. I got other women. So now... I didn't delete her for social media. I don't do that. I didn't delete her phone, not phone number. I don't do all that. Eventually, you're going to reach back out. The world is round for a reason. Everything in it come right back to you. I believe that. <laughs> now, she jumped in my DM. Hey, how everything going? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I'm chilling. I, you know, I responded back to her about a couple hours later. I got shit to do. I'm busy. I ain't heard from you in a minute anyway. I don't give a fuck. I get at you. So, um, yeah, I'm busy. I'm um, at the mechanic shop taking care of this tire. She, oh, okay. Cool. So, um, I haven't seen you in a minute. We haven't talked. Is there any time we can hook up, you know, sit down, have a little drink or whatever? All right, we cool. We good for that. Let's do that Thursday. I'm busy this whole week. I got a lot of things on my schedule that I got to take care of, but I'll get at you Thursday. All right, bet. Just a little friendly conversation, that's all. That's what she shot at me. Because she know what relationship that we did have. We were stabbing. We was getting it in. So she kept it very minute. Just a friendly conversation. She wanted to put that in my mind that we're going to remain friends. It ain't going to be no more than this. I'm not, I don't see it no more than friends. I don't see I, don't, I, mean, I, I see it more. I'm, let me revert. Let me back up. I see it more than friends in a sexual way, though. I don't see it just at a friendship level. I ain't no motherfucking friend. I ain't your friend. I don't, I'm not a friend. I guess it in. I'm a man. Remember that. So she don't, you know, she's not taking heed to none of that. She want to have a conversation. Basically what she want to do in so many words is show her new boyfriend off to me. The new better. She want to show him off to me. Not at the date. Of course not. That's not going to happen. But she did that so I can go on and check out her story. And what you're going to instantly do, once you see a motherfucker get at you in your DM, you're going, okay, look at, check, you see her storyline. I checked her storyline. That was the trick. But it only matters to those who care. I don't care. And I'm still going to knock your back out. So she was in up with, she on there, she's going out to eat. You know, she's at a little dinner setting. And I see two glasses. Okay, she with a guy. Or she's with somebody. Or she could be playing. She could throw that glass there. You know, just for it could, for the appearance of social status. So people can think she, she got a social life. I don't know. 
but she's there with a guy. A guy that I know she wouldn't even be with. That's not the type of guy that she really wants. I know her. She's in the motherfucker. She's into a certain status. That's not the guy that she wants. You know, not no race. It's not no racist thing. I don't get into the race issue. I don't play in that car. However, he's a big burly white guy, big beard, look like a truck driver, look like something that doesn't fit her. But she's fucking with him. This is her man, and she told me, you know, well, you know, this is, you know, boom, boom. So I get out of hey, everything, you know. I see you having fun. Every, you know, life is life. You know, we we, you know, I'm living my life. You living your life just as well. But I, you know, she asking me. Okay, I see your storyline. I see you having fun. I see you, you know, I'm out with a little chick or whatever. So I guess she's seen that. So, you know, I'm like, I see you having fun just as well. Oh, I'm just with my, my boyfriend. You know, that's all. She shot that at me. But at the same time, she asked me out for a drink. Am I going to go out with it for a drink? Of course. She's paying any motherfucking way. Yeah, I'm going to go out for that drink. Whatever it leads to after that, of course I'm down for it. I'm not your man. You got your man. And this ain't the man that she would settle for. I'm not here to clown her. I'm not here to crack on her, talk things, shoot the shit on her, you know, join her or whatever you guys may think, you know, wherever you guys may call it. I'm not here to do all that. I'm just here to show you guys that whenever they can't get what they want, the man that they want, they'll settle for whomever. Especially whomever going to bait them. Whomever's going to sit there and, and listen to their cries on their shoulder. Who's ever going to sit up there and pay those bills? Who's going to take care of that food bill when they go out to eat? Who's going to take care of them children? Who's going to pay that car note, pay that mortgage? She got that man for that. Yeah, she may, she may let him sniff it a little bit. She may let him bang it out a little bit. Not all the time. He ain't going to get what he, what that he really, he, he's not going to get what he really want up out of her sexually. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. The dudes who going to get it up out of her sexually the way that she want to give it and the way they want to receive it is those that she's chasing. She's I'm one of the guys she's chasing. Quite sure there's others, but I'm one of the guys she's chasing. So she know what it is. I see that you got a man now. I'm not here to knock that. I cannot knock that. That's your life. Please live your life. You know, women do anything. To show you that they that they are taken. Look what you missing out on. You missed out on this. You could have had this. That's what she's saying in so many words. She not knowing that. Only thing that I do miss out on is my fucking bread. My money. My success. My children when I was doing time. Everybody else going to be there. And if you ain't there, you not there. That's what it is. It's the only motherfucking thing I miss out on. But she don't know that. She's trying her best to show me another guy, a guy that I know she don't love in her heart. I know her. I know she don't love this person in her heart, but that's what she settled with. Fellas, remember that. Whenever their life continue to go on from 18, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 whenever they increase in, in, whenever, you know, they grow older in age, they haven't been married or they could have been married. They got children. It doesn't matter. Whenever they grow older in age, that wall come. They're about to hit that motherfucker. Ain't no more, ain't, ain't no going around it. You can't go straight through it. You stuck there. Why? It's because you fucked off your youth. You fucked off all the time that you had in life to get the men that really wanted you, but you didn't want them. They was too nice. They was too generous. They wanted to show you all the love. You wanted to chase Leroy, Tommy, Mike, Pookie, Ray Ray, Derek, Lil John John, the gunner. You wanted to chase all them. Got kids by some of them. Look where they got you. Nowhere. Now you stuck with a big, burly, truck driver, white guy that's over 300 and some pounds. That you know for a fact that a white woman wouldn't even look at. You only got him because he's that better support. Fellas, pay attention to that. She's about, I'm 39, she's about 42, so she definitely hit the wall. She hit the wall years ago. And this is where she's stuck at. All women will fall down that path 
if a motherfucker don't put that ring on their finger. And say a guy will put that ring on her finger. Let's say if he do put that ring on her finger, he do make her his woman. She still will fall down that path because 10 times out of 10, she's not marrying the guy that she really won't. She's not. I believe personally, a smart woman, a smart young lady, will get that out the way while she's younger. She'll get what she really want out the way while it's there. When that person that she really want ain't having grown, he haven't succeeded, he haven't, he, he haven't reached his financial peak or nothing, but he's growing. And he's taking her along with him. A lot of sisters miss out like that. And yeah, this is a sister I'm talking about. A lot of our black women miss out like that. That's why they always fucking single. That's why they die alone. Because they chase the wrong shit and they let the good guys go. Figuring he's too born. But look where they got her. With a motherfucker she cannot stand looking at at night, in the morning, in the daytime. She couldn't stand looking at this motherfucker in the newspaper or on the internet. That's what she got. But like I said, my pipe's still around and I'm still here serving it until I die. <laughs> Get at me.